It all started with a conversation between brothers. One is a renowned U of A printmaker, the other a go-to expert on legal and ethical issues around biotechnology. They decided to bring their two worlds of art and science together in the spirit of inquiry, and the results are wondrous to behold. Sean and I uh, have often talked about these issues, you know, the si science, the place of science in society. We have somewhat different points of view on this too. I think we have sort of healthy disagreements, a healthy tension on some of these issues. Um, and we thought, you know, we should really take this a step further. We should really make this into a, a unique project, a scientific project, a research project, a, uh, a vehicle for science communication. And it's been wildly successful. We both felt that uh, biomedical research, uh, especially stem cell research in particular, I think, tends to be very emotional. People have this kind of polarized reaction to it. So I think if we had one sort of broad objective, is it, it would be to look at how art might bring a more sophisticated dialogue to that debate, you know, because art tends to be able to articulate emotional things and, and kind of psychological things much more effectively. And, and I think it can bring people together in a way. The Caulfield brothers assembled a group of scientists, bioethics scholars, and artists to create an art exhibit called Perceptions of Promise. After successful showings in Canada, the group last fall took their work to an epicenter of the art world, New York's Chelsea Art Museum. All right! Well, it's absolutely breathtaking. The Chelsea Art Museum is a very distinguished contemporary art museum and for this show to have been accepted for exhibition here is quite phenomenal. On the one end of the spectrum we have an artist like Derek Pizant who's making video work uh, that's very much trying to address popular culture and the relationship of popular culture to science. So it's quite charged. On the other end of the spectrum we have artists who have made work that's I guess I would describe much quieter and, and maybe a little more poetic. And here the actual human chromosomes. We all ask questions, deep, deep questions, but we do understand that this is part of science which is necessary and which can bring very positive aspects to, the, to mankind and to the world. Yeah, and this kind of research is really helping also the, to bring like, this idea of interdisciplinary work also back to the school and back to the students to show them the way we work and that it's possible to like, approach scientists, approach ethicists and to work with them together.